Rob Reiner is fictional uh, documentary maker. He goes to... Hello there. <coughs> so Rob Reiner's... <coughs> yeah. <coughs> what? Yeah, thank you. What? Oh. Thank you. Hey, yes. <coughs> Reiner's fictional uh, filmmaker is following the rock band Spinal Tap on their latest US tour to promote their upcoming album Smell the Glove. Unfortunately for the band, they have seemed to have lost more fans and brain cells over the years, so they're playing for these sort of, sort of smaller, empty uh, halls rather than the you know, big stadiums that they used to play. But they, you know, explained is that you know the fans are more you know selective with what they see these days and stuff like that but poor ticket sales is the only thing that uh, plagues the band over this tour fighting with the labels fighting over the uh, cover which is one of the most hilarious sequences in the entire movie egos and basically the yoko ono john lennon story gets you know weaved into this thing and uh, all of a sudden you get the feeling that the band's entire future might be in jeopardy is this the end of spinal tap will this be the final tour they ever do how many more drummers is going to die before somebody calls it the quits that's what this movie is essentially about we get to follow around you know when uh, spinal tap you know do, does the press junkets and when you know they're talking about the complicated past of the band and we get to see you know uh, the past iterations of the whole thing give me some money and listen to what the flower people say and all that good stuff. It is absolutely hilarious and it kind of works. This movie is such a good uh, fake documentary. It almost feels like a found footage movie. And after a while, this weird thing happens. You stop laughing at all the misfortunes the band happens you know the pod that won't open they get lost backstage and you know the entire thing with the stone hedge and all that good stuff and you start sympathizing with the band and you don't want them to you know disappear you don't want them to break up you want them to continue despite being a bunch of hatchet-headed empty-headed idiots uh, i love the characters so much they have such great personalities and the fact is that all of these you know shows that they're doing all the stupid lyrics tonight i'm gonna to rock you tonight and all the things that happens in the movie is plausible that could have happened to a band at you know some point in their career and probably has happened to almost all bands all over the world in some form or another and apparently road crews cannot watch this movie without bursting into absolute tears because it is so horrendously unwatchable for them because they've all seen this probably and this is not a laugh out loud comedy, but it is a movie with, that has such a low key, fascinating comedy that I don't think you've ever seen anywhere else. You're sitting there with a big smile on your face and you're just, you know, enjoying seeing what's happening and you don't know exactly what's going to happen and nothing goes too much over the top. It stays within the course of what could possibly happen? What could possibly happen? <clears throat> what is possible for a, you know, rock band to suffer, you know, with the, all the great sit-down interviews with the band members and all of these, you know, reviews that they go through and small little moments when they, you know, hear their songs on the radio and they get really excited about it, you know, and then being just buried by, you know, the disc jockey in the next sequence. It's, it's all hilarious, but it doesn't laugh out loud material. But it is a type of comedy that is very infectious and at some points in the movie they actually dip their toes a little bit into more drama and tragedy and stuff like that and at those points we feel sympathy for them we feel sad for them and stuff like that and that is where the magic of this movie comes in if you've never seen this is spinal tap this is a movie i think you should absolutely see it has a great pace it has great acting and almost to the point where I actually forget that these guys are actors and we're actually seeing a movie and not something that actually happens. The movie just rushes by and the very, very smart way of having this movie just be 80 minutes long was a great idea because if it would have gone on for maybe 10, 15 more minutes, 
they would have run the risk of the whole thing getting a bit old but they were actually able to steer it on the right side of uh, entertainment factor for us now there are you know moments in this movie that I don't think work as well as other parts there are some you know uh, sequences that just goes on a little bit too long for it to actually benefit the story but for the most part this is a very entertaining very funny very smart comedy with a huge amount of attention to details and a great ensemble cast of characters and also a bunch of very cool and very unexpected um, cameos. So if you've never seen this movie, do see this movie. You will not regret it. Sometimes I wish I would love this movie even more than I do, but I still give This Is Spinal Tap 79 points. This is an absolute cult classic that do holds up. Ironically, lots of its timelessness actually stems from the fact that this movie is such a, you know, window into the mid 80s. So it simultaneously becomes incredibly dated while being incredibly timeless at the same time. I do love this movie a lot and I just wish that they could have polished up this a little bit and made, you know, the even funnier bits even funnier. So I really recommend this is Spinal Tap. Do see it if you have the chance. So I'll see you next time for Will So and So reviewing well such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.